What's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog, man. We were almost on tornado warning, but we never got an alert, so it wasn't that serious. But I went downstairs, got the basement already. But look at the weather now. And just like that, it's starting to change and go on to a whole nother phase. Before you know it, it'll probably be sunny like in a little bit. Talk about bipolar. But anyway, man, back to normal life. Right now it's probably about 7 p.m. The girls already ate. Dang, you hear that thunder? <laughs> That was loud. It's okay, mama. It's okay, baby. You're good. Daddy's here, mama. I'm actually gonna get ready to head out to get some food for me at Shanice. We have a little a favorite burger spot that we like going to. But Shanice over here, she got everything going. Got the house looking like a vibe. You go, girl. Hey, you go, girl. Hey, hey. Like it. There's a ladybug with wings. All yeah. ladybugs have wings, honey bunny. There's a ladybug that's opening his wings. Where? Right there. I dropped it. My bad. Right, what? Yeah. Who's it at, Gia? Hmm? Mm, right there. Yeah, right there. You want me to throw it away? Right there. You, you want daddy to throw it away? Yeah. Okay, I'll throw it away. I'm gonna touch it. Huh? I think I'm gonna touch it. Yo, what's going on good people? So I just had a pest control come by today. Your point needed some help with these bugs. The girl was real cool. She came out. She gave us like a full 20 point inspection, just checking everything out. About ready to book a flight back to California, y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go over some stuff right now with Chinese. We got our new AC put in, we got a new furnace. So that's been a blessing. Right now we bought these little strips. It looks like a little tiny hole on the bottom of the slider. So obviously bugs can get in if there's a hole. This right here covers it up. So I just took care of that right now on both sliders. But uh, this right here is one of the issues. Below the deck, we had, uh, I guess they call them carpenter bees uh, nesting in there. There's actually a bird nest down here somewhere that apparently we can't touch because the birds are protected by the state. We also have birds up there in those holes. And I think those are all woodpeckers, so who knows what type of damage we have in there. We won't know that until we actually get the wood taken off. Uh, we also had uh, rodent issues going on here so yeah yeah that's what we're looking at and then down there in our tree line we had uh i guess some like three or four snakes or something like that supposedly like non-poisonous like garden snake and some other type of snake but i'm over here watching where where we step at i still haven't got to sit down a lawnmower yet so i have somebody cut the grass but of course we're just trying to protect the house first at least the inside i mean our comfort lies inside of our house you know what i mean it's a lot but we're gonna get to it man the devil trying to make me feel some type of way <laughs> some days he does i ain't gonna lie but uh i know god wouldn't you know what i'm saying put nothing on us that we can't bear so it's yeah, just gonna take a lot of time and learning i feel like mainly a lot of it comes with like just being overwhelmed by so much at like one time you know it's like one thing to deal with one situation but it's like so many different things for example my car haven't really driven it since we got here low-key only drove it when the truck you know dropped it off i just drove it home that's it it's been sitting in the same spot so i went to actually uh start it up wouldn't start battery dead so i jump it as i'm looking around the cable area i see my chip my cable's been getting chewed on so i had old girl check it out the um bug killer and uh you know sure enough some field mice be trying to eat my stuff and then all these wood things around here all this wood around here all around the all around the front of the front yard pretty much all have like mice nest we have big old ant holes right here these right here are here also like carpenter ants so they eat a lot of the wood and then she was pointing out some of the dead trees that we have we have two dead trees so yeah, you know, again, all this news in one day, in one morning, so. Fuck it though, but let's go inside and tell Chinese about this. Right, let's go over this real quick before the girls come. So right here, 20 point inspection. They went over everything. Obviously they went through like the front entry, shut, I mean, they went through everything. So basically the major findings that she found was uh, she found the silver fish by the back door. We saw some of the therapy downstairs. The back door? Yeah, the one of the back doors back here, she, she found one, silver fish. She found a, a wasp nest next to the chimney because I told her to like do some stuff around it. So it was a, it was like a little tiny. She said like a really really tiny wasp nest that probably just got made recently. So she took care of that. She removed it. They remove everything. So removed the wasp nest. Um, she found a couple of snakes back there next to the tree line. You're lying. I'm not. 
She said they're like garden snakes. Where are that? Uh, along that, your favorite tree, that purple one. <laughs> they're right next to the purple tree. She said they, they kind of gather right there. So oh she, so yeah, she said there's, there's three snakes right there. And yeah, like, those are not. Those yeah, they're are not, not venomous or anything like, like that. She was like, they, you know, they honestly, they like mice. They like, you know, like mice and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to another one. She was saying that there's a bunch of like, um, rodent activity along the the foundation of the house, so that you can kind of see. So yeah, over next to your tree, the purple tree. There, I guess they kind of gather right there. So, so, a, so a, she spotted a few. I think she's like two or three of them. Yeah, she told me the names of them. One was like a garden snake. The other one's like a like a rat snake or some some type of like right right snake right rat snake. Mm -hmm. I said rattlesnake. She said nah nah. We don't we don't really. That's very uncommon right here. She's like but you know obviously if you do see one we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, but then around the foundation there's like my uh, rodent mice like the field mice. They call them something else, but some type of mice activity going around the, the foundation of the house. And then under the back porch, you have the carpenter bees. They they basically were nesting under there. So that's why, she, you know, you've been seeing a lot of those. So she took care of the bees activity so that they shouldn't be back, you know, no time soon for, for that right there. She also noticed a, a bird nest under the, the deck, which she can't touch because the birds are they're what to call by the state mm. um I, I can touch it no <laughs> and she's like they're they're woodpeckers um and the same thing like in the back she did like, like she did like the whole mosquito fogging which fogs everything up all back there so you shouldn't see no mosquitoes no ticks none of that um she also put like the snake repellent back there so the snake should go back back to the woods also the deer probably won't be back there anymore and i told her i seen her video of the frog and she's like wow she's like yeah another reason why the snakes would be here she's like the snakes love frogs and they love uh, mice, obviously, and they love chicken eggs. And she's like, "There's a freaking rooster out here." I was like, "Yeah, some the, my, my neighbors." She's like, "Yeah, they they love that stuff." So. Well, I mean, we just we gotta get rid of those trees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, like I was telling the vlog. I'm like, it's not that everything is too much. It's just that it's so much at one time. And it's like, at the end of the day, it's like we bought a house that was that set for 20 years. You know what I mean? Set mm -hmm. 20 plus years. So again, as bad as it's set, you would think it would be actually worse than what it is. So I'm, yeah. we're definitely, I'm thankful for that. I just feel like right now it's just a lot when we're dealing with like thing after thing after thing after thing. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. we're putting money here, putting money there. So eventually like in a year, all of this would be way behind us, like mm -hmm. way behind us, you know? Um, so I'm still thankful. Thank God for giving us the desires of our hearts and this is what comes along with it this is what it's going to grow us grow our faith i gotta be tough when the girls around daddy there's a bug i'm like trying to run the opposite way but you know I'm, i got it baby <laughs> when i'm inside i feel like <laughs> i mean at the end of the day our, like like you said aside from the house sitting for so long everything outside around it has not been groomed and or treated or anything. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to have some type of treatment going on. Or repel it. I mean, there's a reason why people do certain things, like where, like, right in front of our house is an onion tree. Or onion, onions right there, green onions. And, oh, really? Yeah, but she was saying like those are really good plants. I'm like, for what? I mean, I thought she meant like repel it. But she's like, nah, just to eat. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, it, to me, it's like, it's expected for, you know, having such a wooded area right behind us and then Again, no care for so long. Um, it's amazing that it's not as bad as it could be. Like, we could have an infestation in the house with rodents, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, or just, you know, the, the extremely unwanted things correct, being correct. in here. So, I mean, I'm happy to be dealing with some silverfish, <laughs> yeah, honestly. I know. It's like your, your, your typical stuff. Hold that real quick. You talk to them for a second. I don't want to talk to them. I'm trying to process this. <laughs> you know, overall, man, how do you feel? Um, I, I'm glad we have answers, you know? I think yeah. that's um, one of the bigger positives. Yeah. I feel like it's, it makes me mad because obviously we have pest control come and do inspection on... Um, you know, on the house before we bought it, even though, I mean, that's not really stuff that could have been no-breaker in a sense, but 
it's like, bro, like, what kind of inspection did you do? Like, they probably just inspected the house and that's it. And not, not the actual, because I, I mean, at the end of the day, she, everything she pretty much spotted was outdoors. Yeah, which is fun, but even the guy I had come a couple weeks ago, uh, like, the, the service charge was basically the same amount, you know, the same amount that she, you know, that this company charged. And they did a whole 20 part inspection of everything, including spraying and obviously, you know, every, you know, they, they just did everything. So it's like, it, it just goes to show you sometimes, I mean, you know, obviously all companies, all servers are the same, man. And mm -hmm. yeah, shout out to Green X. <laughs> Slow down, baby, slow down. Slow down. Thank you, mama. <laughs> My rug came today, y'all. I'm excited. My rug is here, and I'm so excited. I'm about to open this up and check it out. Ooh, it looks pretty. I love what I see. Man, this is coming along very, very nice. Like, so spacious already. These are my neighbors. That's Pops over there. Pops just pull up, got his cigar in his mouth. Son's inside the, uh, the cat. Man, love it. Love it. So I am about to get started on my coffee table for the living room. Jeremy actually cut the legs for me and I'm gonna start working on the rest. I don't have a plan on what I'm doing exactly. I just know visually what I want. Just a very simple, minimal wooden table, like a rectangle wooden table. These pieces are pretty much ready to go. Got three of these at Lowe's and I want to make it pretty thick. So we're gonna use three boards, one on top of the next and put the legs on, stain it and call it a day. So let's get to it. Can I take care of Jeff? Yeah, take care of her, please. That's how you guys know, y'all. We keep it 100. We out here first timers. So, so far, it's been a very, very productive day. Shani's working on her wood table. I just finished putting in this faucet for her. I mean, obviously it's not our dream faucet or whatnot, but it's something better than what we had before. We had this old crappy thing right here. I mean, this thing was trash. But, uh, you know, we like the whole sprayer, you know what I'm saying? A little more power. Shani said she likes the way it sprays. That's pretty. We have two, three settings. No, no. Not bad, right? Not bad. $30, you know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure my wife does the dishes nicely, you feel me? Yeah. Ain't that right, man? <laughs> but yeah, she's over here working on the table still. Looking good, man. Looking good. You look, girl, you impress me. You go, girl. You go, girl. My next tool is gonna be a table saw so that I can get some clean edges. You know what I mean? I feel you. All right, Pita's backyard though, y'all. So we hooked it up a little bit. 
Tell me what y'all think. Much better? Happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. We decided to take a break today from just the, you know, just doing stuff in the house. So we got everybody up and out and we just touched down at Copia Farm. So Ohio does not sell raw milk like in regular grocery stores. It's actually illegal to sell raw milk. So what we have to do is get um, basically pay to be part of a herd share which is not that much it's like a hundred dollars at least here at copia farm it's a hundred dollars um one-time fee and then you could buy all the raw milk it's basically like you're taking part ownership in you know the cows and all that stuff so um, once we pay that fee we'll be able to get all of our raw milk and raw dairy and stuff which is great um, and then I just kind of like the idea of being so close to the milk that is produced, you know, so that that's nice. So we're going to check this out. We're going to see what they have. I'm excited to get some raw cheese. I haven't had raw cheese in probably like two months. And so I'm really missing my cheese. Um, and yeah, I just I just want some farm fresh food. So let's see what they have in here. Sauces are handcrafted from organic vegetables grown on our family farm. So we made it back from the farm and from eating and I quickly started putting groceries away but then I remembered I didn't share what what we got so first we're gonna start off with some dairy so we got three gallons of milk we got some raw milk beautifully packaged look at that beautiful Copia farm raw milk. Then we have some feta cheese, some goat feta cheese. Feta cheese, I just like making like Greek salads and stuff. And then we also got some rich sour cream. This sour cream is with um, A2 milk. Very excited about that because we can never find like great quality sour cream. So we got that. Yeah, are you showing them? Yeah. Oh, and this one right here somehow somehow got an allergic reaction and she thinks it's funny <laughs> it's not funny i don't understand why this girl has so many allergies i don't know what the deal is for sure she has a peanut allergy she definitely has a peanut allergy i feel like she may have a raw dairy allergy but i don't know she started having a reaction when we were sitting down eating at the restaurant and the only thing she had was a couple fries. She had some falafel, falafel, is that what it's called? Falafel, um, you know, the little fried balls. And hummus maybe? I don't know, this girl, she, she just has so many allergies. I need to get her an allergy test. But anyways, so we got two different types of, not even two different types, but two different brands, I believe. Um, I don't know who this is from. 
Oh, it's the same. Oh. I'm over here thinking I'm getting some different brands, but it's it's the same. It's from Point Valley Farms. Aged cheddar cheese right here. These are shaped in the Ohio state. So I got two of these and two of these, but they're still aged cheddar cheese. Um, then we got some salsa, some farm fresh salsa right here. Can't wait to try that. Then we got a hold of some sprouted sourdough tortillas. I've never even made my own sourdough tortillas. So I, I'm very excited about that. Everything organic, pasture-raised eggs. We got four dozens, four dozen eggs, which is great because we've just been going through eggs like crazy because back in California at our farmer's market, we would get like 30 count. We would get 30 count like every two weeks, sometimes every week. But so we should be good for a while until we have to make the visit there again. But I think that's all we got yeah oh no that's not all we got i'm lying i put all the meat a little yeah leave the ice cream in there because it's still frozen or it's still melting so we got a big old grass-fed chuck roast look at that Ooh, yeah can't wait to make that we got some okay got some chicken they can't see you and that's not chicken it's lamb chorizo we got some lamb chorizo. I'm excited to try that. And then we got some pork sausage chorizo. We right got here. beans, greens, potato, tomato, what lamb, ham. Oh, you name And then we got some Alex Mommy. ice cream because we haven't been able to see find these anywhere. Does Whole Foods have these? I've never seen that before in my life. You haven't? Nah. Sprouts has yeah. ha um Sprouts carries these. But it's just hard to get a hold of the things that we once got a hold of because things are about 35 minutes out for us. But yeah, that's all. So we are just gonna settle down. The girls already got their pajamas on. We are gonna have a cozy evening on the couch as yeah. a family and just relax. Yeah. We haven't had a day to just relax, enjoy each other just you know just just be chill and mellow and enjoy each other's company so that is the plan that is what we're gonna do for the rest of the evening it is almost eight o'clock it is very late so yeah you ready you ready to get cozy mm -hmm. yeah yeah help me put this stuff back away <laughs> i'm i don't know why i'm forgetting about the loser <laughs> I'm forgetting about everything that we got. We still got so much more stuff. Okay, baby, look. So we got some copia. Hey! hey. Some dough like you pay the bills right Oh my club. goodness. Darker we got some coffee beans. Some wildflower coffee. Costa Rican whole bean. I just don't know what roast level this is. That's kind of making me feel some type of way because I do not like dark roast. I need me light rope. So these are, you see what this is? Mm -hmm. Spicy breakfast patties. We got some mm -hmm. spicy breakfast patties. This is for mommy and dad. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is for you girls. We got some bacon. Is that it? Daddy only got one pack of bacon? How dirty. I can't believe you only got one pack of bacon. So this is regenerative. All the meats are regenerative. Beef is grass fed. Everything's pasture raised. It's just beautiful, you know? No sugar added to any of these. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mom and Daddy got so much eggs. Why are there so much eggs? Because Mommy likes a lot of eggs. Mommy, Hold on, baby. Mommy. I'll take this, huh? Here is a nut and seven and a half bag. Can I get it? Hey, be careful. Be careful. Oh, I got seven. Oh, <laughs> It is 
a new day. It is a beautiful new day. And you know what? What? I know you guys have been waiting for the living room <laughs> reveal situation. I've been doing things and I've been leaving y'all hanging. Not on purpose because I've been leaving myself hanging because I will start a project, then not finish it, then pick it back up a couple days later. But I finally finished. I finished my table. I finished grabbing a little bit more decor, sort of functional things slash decor that I've been needing that my wonderful husband went and picked up today, I which you guys wood. will see. I did all the wood. You know what I'm saying? That was me. I ain't a bum. I do work too. <laughs> Yes, he picked up like a trees. bunch of wood. I yeah, chopped out right. like 50 trees all by myself in like 10 minutes. I got some videos. Did you? Yeah, input right there. See, that's all me right there. I had to load this up by myself. <laughs> and the whole dude that worked there. It's finished and I love it. Drum roll, please. <laughs> roll the tape. I am so happy with how everything turned out. The whole wood situation was something that I found on Pinterest that I just knew I wanted to do. We spent quite a lot of money on wood, but we have so much wood stocked up for those chilly days that we want to be nice and cozy in this area. The table came out good. I had a little bit of a malfunctioning with the way it stood, like the two legs that I had at first. It, it just wasn't very stable. So I ended up going ahead and putting two more legs on it, which made it way more stable. And then I just kind of left it that natural wood and just had a little two-tone vibe. And I actually really, really like it that way. My rug, I love all of the furniture. Everything is just perfect. The colors came together really well. And I'm so happy. I'm very, very happy with the before and after of this. And I cannot wait for the next room. It's time for the next room. What are we doing next, honey? Mommy, the planet. Whatever you want. Y'all ready to burn some wood? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. <laughs> 